What's going on guys? It's your boy Ajen back again for another Alchemy Stars video and for today I will showcase to you one of the most underrated units in the game which is Silva and I believe Silva is one of those units that have been forgotten because in the forest lineup there are a lot of good DPS units like Hero, Migard, Area, Paloma and Silva is a 4-star unit, so a lot of players don't really care about low rarity units. Most of the most of the players, major, the majority of the players, also always use those uh, higher rarity shining 6-stars uh, or 5-star units. But here, I will showcase you how good Silva is, how much damage she can deal, especially with the addition of Lokowa into the forest lineup, into the game by the way, because Lokowa can buff any unit in the game. With the addition of Lokowa, it is safe to say that uh, Silva is now pretty much a viable unit because not only he has a good damaging skill, he has the teleport. He is like the budget version of Michael by the way, if you don't know. So let us take a look at my Silva. My Silva is level 1 Ascension 3, equipment level 10, although affinity level 1 only, MBT because... 4 stars are very easy to max BT. So, let us talk, take a look at this skill. So, active skill, Storm Sprint. This has preemptive strike, which is a low 2 rounds cooldown. Select one of the tiles at the edge of the battlefield and dashes to the selected location. Dealing 220% damage to enemies along the way and on adjacent tiles. Her chain combo deals 150% damage. In a what do you call it? In a cross shape to the maximum range. So the range is just like this. Although the range is pretty small, it is somewhat still somewhat good for a four star unit. If this becomes a two surrounding cluster, then Silva will be broken as a four star. But sadly, it is not. The good thing about Silva also is his equipment skill. So when a normal attack, chain combo, or active skill damage to one enemy. This damage ignores 30% of the target's defense. Units with ignores defense are always pretty good and they are all pretty strong, including Silva. And you will see it in the damage showcase when I tested out his damage. So when there is only one enemy on the board, Forest Aurorian's active skill also gain this effect. This is pretty nice if you have another DPS in your team like Nigard or Paloma that has a damaging active skill. I already explained this one in the battle showcase so I am explaining it again for some context. So Silva at level 1 Ascension 3 has a 2,445 attack, 997 defense and 7,547 HP which is kinda low for a 4 star. It is understandable since he is a 4 star unit but you will see the damage how much he can he can deal to the opponent so without further ado let's get right into the battle showcase so i am here at the calamity codex and i am here to test out silva's damage with lukowa's buff so first let us see silva's active skill damage without the buff so if you don't know silva can teleport just like this let us see the damage. How much? Boom! 67, almost 67,000 damage. Without the buffs. Without the debuffs from Lokowa. Now that you've seen that one, I will now test it out with, uh, uh, with the maximum uh, stacks from Lokowa's buff. So, see you in that showcase. So, I am here now again at Calamity Codex and we are now going to test out Silva's active skill damage with the stacks from Lukowa's debuff so here we go we've seen a 67k damage from the without stacks but now we will see with two stacks how much damage we can get that's okay and then where will we teleport there okay we can teleport here If you don't know, Silva is just like uh, Michael. As you can see, how much damage is that? 
I did not calculate. My bad. Around 70k. But it is only with two mortality marks. This one. And then I just need to survive. Let's get some uh, stocks from uh, Lukowa. It is very easy to achieve the stocks because Lukowa's uh, chain combo skill activation is only at uh, 2. So you can gain mortality marks. As I've said in my uh, Lukowa showcase. There you go. 3 stocks now. I need some HP. Okay. The good thing about Silva, guys, is that Silva has depth ignore damage. This one. He has a 30% ignore damage. And also, the good thing is when you are fighting a boss, when there is only one enemy on the board, Forest Aurorian's active skills also gain this effect. So if you have a Migard or a Paloma in the team or any forest unit with damaging active skill, they will also ignore the, the defense by 30% which is pretty nice, pretty pog. I believe Silva is one of those underrated units in the game. We cannot avoid this one. So I just need to make some... Uh, Chain combo so that, okay, mortality marks again, 5 now, 5 stacks. <coughs> Excuse. So let us see the damage with 5 stacks, how much we can get from this one. As you can see here, 5, 5 stacks. So the damage is 213k, so with Silva's active skill here. Here, we, we go here. How much is the damage? Boom! 213 minus 301. How much is that? Uh, 85 or something. 85k something. Pretty pog, right? And guys, my Silva is only level 1. Level 1 Ascension 3. I need some HP sustain so that I can uh, get up to ten stocks. I need to test out the ten stocks of uh, Luko was buff. Let us see. Silva is so strong. It's not a waste of resources to raise him. See? 23k damage. Chain combo skill. Uh, I am at full health now. I need to activate again uh, for mortality. Yeah, Lokowa, okay. Okay, we are, we are not at 7 stacks. And then this one plus two. Boom. We are now at nine stocks. And then we will be at ten stocks now here with this one. Yeah, here. Lokowa can activate here because Lokowa's change skill is uh, X shape. Now we are at ten full stocks of Lokowa's debuff. So we now have a 70% increased damage on our active skill. So how can we fully utilize that one? Mm. Let's go here. Okay. We can now activate again uh, Silva's 
active skill. Now we can see how much damage we can uh, we can get. Uh, first, let me convert this one. <coughs> Excuse. So we are now at 644k damage. Make it 645 so that it, it is easy to subtract. So we will now see Silva's damage with Lukowa's pull stacks. Let us see how much damage 645k. 645, 106. That is a whopping 106. No. Yeah, 106k damage. 106k damage on an active skill which, which has a low cooldown because uh, Silva's active skill only has 2 rounds cooldown which is pretty pretty good especially he is a 4 star imagine if, if my Silva is max level 80 how much damage will it get pretty strong right mm, let us see let's just finish the round since uh We are already here. Maybe this one can out damage out damage score my uh, previous team here. I'm not really going hard in the calamity codex because the rewards are kind of me. So there's really no need to try hard for this one. Mm, let's just get out of here. And the good thing about Lukowa guys, her debuff will last forever as long as the boss is still standing or the enemy is still around. It will not go away which is pretty pretty good. Damn it. Uh, this is an unavoidable damage, so... Let us see again, Silva's damage. How much? 101k. See? 100k plus. 100k plus. Too good. He's too good. And there you go. That is the battle showcase for uh, Silva. This is a Silva in Lukowa showcase, by the way. And you will see how good Lukowa is also. And that's it for me for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it if you could help me grow my channel more. And thank you to everyone who are supporting my channel. I appreciate every one of you. Until next time, peace!